biggest driver for innovation for us has really come from our people and listening to our people, uh, listening to our customers. So if we break it down into two parts, we've got food service, we've also got the retail uh, part of our business and both have really been customer driven along with our people. So we've got a lot of recipes and a lot of products on the market that have a real story behind them. So if I take our Rocky Road, for example, is actually a very good friend of my mother-in-law's that we've taken, we've adapted, um, and then taken to market. So 12 years ago, we started just as bread to restaurants. That's all we started as. And over time, we've evolved uh, into retail space from a sweet indulgent offer. And now we're looking at different areas of the market that suit our brand um, so particularly we're moving into cookies, the cookie aisle, and trying to zhuzh that up a bit. Um, we're also pushing into a more healthier style of eating as well. So there's really no area that's untouched to us or a no-go zone that we can't look at if we believe there's potential. Um, but the most important thing is making sure that we remember that you know it has to be what we stand for, good quality, simple ingredients, you know, not full of numbers and just honest food. When we are developing new products to take to the market, yeah, we look at basic things, the category, what the size is doing, and do we believe there's room for growth, what's been happening overseas, um, are there new uh, raw materials that we can put into those products and I suppose zhuzh it up and make it a bit special than what's already been on, on the market. But a lot of it, to be honest, is gut feel. I mean, there's nothing better than sitting in a room of people and you create something and they go, man, that's just like what I had 20 years ago when I walked into grandma's kitchen or, or some that sort of thing, you can't beat that. So if you can sort of roll with those sorts of feelings with a little bit of educated guessing around it and information that's out there, that's sort of how we go. And look, not everything works, that's for sure. There's probably been more failures than successes, but we just get back up and get back to the drawing board and, and go again. The biggest problem around uh, product innovation and challenge I think for small to medium businesses like ours, is making sure that whatever we innovate, whatever we're doing, we stay really true to what we believe in and what started us on that journey anyway in business. Don't put anything in front of anybody that you wouldn't eat, buy or sell yourself. So you can't sell something if you're not going to eat it or you're prepared to buy it. So you've, you've got to remember that and put that in mind. So we want to make sure that when we get something in front of people that it's it's honest, it's true to what we believe, um, but also uh, managing the growth of that NPD or innovation is the hardest challenge, I think, for our businesses. And I mean that from a, a people perspective, um, capex or equipment, um, and also through to your sales force. But the biggest thing we really look at is just making sure we don't forget where we came from and how we got there, and that's based around doing good, honest food and, uh, and making sure that it, it fits well and people enjoy it, really. Mm -hmm.